Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. For this week's video, we're talking GNL versus Fender, which was Leo Fender's best design. Now the Telecaster and the ASAP were designed many years apart, and although they bear a striking resemblance to one another, there's some key differences that set them apart. So today we're going to do a full tone test for you guys. We're going to play some country, some blues, some metal, a bunch of different genres, and of course talk about the features that set these guys apart. So a very brief history of these two guitars. The Telecaster came out in 1950 as the Broadcaster. Gretsch had that name trademarked, so Fender had to do something else, so they ceased putting a name on them in 1951. Those guitars are known as No Casters because they didn't have the name. And in 1952, Telecaster was born and has been in constant production ever since. Now in 1965, Leo Fender sold off his company, stayed on for a few years as a consultant, and then went on to various other endeavors, including forming Music Man and then forming g in 1979. So today we've got this ASAC Classic in Fullerton Red. This is going to be comparing up against our American-made Telecaster. Now GNL's always been a pretty cool company because they sort of ran their shop like a like a mini custom shop. So if I wanted this guitar in sparkle green with a rosewood fingerboard and binding, they would just build that for you. No problems, no questions asked, away you go. So they've always been able to do that um, you know, without huge custom shop upcharges. That's just always the way they've ran it. And of course they stock regular instruments, you know, in music stores, but the ability to, you know, for anybody to just build their dream guitar without having to spend huge, huge custom shop money uh, has always been really cool. So there's a few things on this GNL that set it apart from the Tele. First of all are the pickups. Magnetic field design pickups are powerful and full sounding. Now they're super flexible and I did a video on this a couple weeks ago so I'm going to put a card to that above if you want to click on that where I adjust all the pull pieces and show how it affects the sound. Really really interesting stuff so check that one out if you haven't seen it. Um, but these are really sensitive to height so if you want more of a typical T-style Alnico sound, just grab your pickups and slam them towards the pick guard. That's going to brighten up your sound and give you more of a typical telly. If you want more of that full aggressive tone that a telly really can't get, then raise these guys up. So they do take some adjustment to find their sweet spot, especially for whatever genre you play, but they are super flexible. Now the ASAT also has six individual saddles like our American Tele, but they're brass mini barrel style. And I think it really suits uh, this T-style guitar really well. So it gives you the functionality of full you know, intonation, uh, full height adjustment, but still look really vintage. So that's cool. And this one has Spurzel tuners on it, um, which feel uh, much better than the tuning machines on the American Tele. So there's a couple upgrades like that, but overall very similar. Now to wrap up our guitar run through, this is our American Standard Telecaster, alder body, maple neck, same as the GNL. They're both alder bodies, both maple necks, um, six individual saddles, but a little bit more modern looking, Alnico pickups instead of the magnetic field design. Let's start the tone test. As per usual, we're gonna be running our guitars through the Blue Angel amp, mic'd up with the Sennheiser E906 and the Earthworks SR25. We're gonna run through a bunch of genres. Here we go.
So to wrap up our tone test, there's one other interesting experiment I'd like to try. I'm gonna take the magnetic field design bridge pickup, slam it all the way down, and see how much, like the Alnico pickup, we can make these things sound like. So here's my final thoughts on these two awesome guitars. First of all, there's nothing like a Telecaster. This thing just twangs and chimes and shimmers uh, like nothing else can. It's just a beautiful, amazing guitar. Now, the GNL was designed to kind of get rid of some of the ice pickiness and high end associated with a Tele. So Leo Fender kind of wanted to kind of, I don't know, maybe just round off some of the rough edges. But we've gotten so used to hearing those rough edges that they just sound good to our ear. Now, some of the notes you guys probably could hear had a little bit too much zinginess and too much ice picky attack, and the GNL just doesn't suffer from that at all. So if you like this style of guitar, but you know have always found a Telecaster a little bit too cutting, uh, this would be a good choice for you. So Leo Fender purposely wanted to take off, yeah, some of those rough edges that we know and associate with the Telecaster. Now the GNL undoubtedly has a bigger, fuller tone. So if you like the Telecaster, but it can kind of run thin for you sometimes, GNL might be a better fit. And of course, taking the pickups and lowering them way down, like I showed you guys, gets them closer to that classic Fender Alnico sound. And if you raise them up, they just become absolutely massive. I thought it sounded better in the high gain, um, where they could push the pedals and the amp a, a little bit hotter than uh, the Tele. So in that scenario, I thought the GNL sounded better. Um, in the middle pickup position, I should also mention the GNL is hum canceling. So very, very appreciated. I love it when you know guitars have at least one or two uh, spots where they're hum canceling in case you arrive at a venue or you're doing a gig and you're just getting like terrible hum. It's always appreciated. Uh, the Tele doesn't. So. That being said, that could be a, a big difference for a player too. So let me know in the comments below which guitar you prefer, the Telecaster or the ASAT. Click my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have a great week, you guys. We'll see you next time with a new video. Take care.